What's going on guys, it's Kyle here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Before we get started, check out the shirt. Tarantino baby. So welcome back to my channel. Today I have a massive, and I mean massive, Blu-ray update for you. So I'm going to be going over the Blu-ray titles I've picked up over the past month or so. Some have been from different stores. Recently I just acquired some from my good, one of my good friends, so we got a lot to talk about. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. First, let's go over some Best Buy pickups. So these three I just picked up last night, and um, they were in the $5.99 or $4.99 um, Blu-ray bin at you know, Best Buy. I said, you know what, why not? Those are some pretty good movies. So first I have, there's something about Mary. I haven't actually seen this one yet, but I've heard it really good things about this comedy. Um, it's got Cameron Diaz, Matt Dillon, and Ben Stiller. It comes with two versions of the film. I heard nothing but great things about this comedy. Um, I'm going to keep this digital code, but I will be giving away another digital code. But there's the disc. So I uh, can't wait to check this one out. Um, it was cheap. Like I said, all of these three I'm about to show you are like all $4.99. Uh, and the next one I actually picked up was another one that I haven't seen yet. Uh, it's Alexander Payne's Sideways. Um, this was a recommendation from Alex Leva. He was doing a live stream and he said something about uh, this is the new version of uh, Sideways, and I was like, oh, hmm, it was like an interesting movie. I saw it in the bin and said, Alex Davis said it was good, so I might as well check it out. Uh, Paul Giamatti, Thomas Hayden Church, Virginia Madsen, and Sandra O. Oh, fantastic cast. I bet you heard of this movie, and I heard it's really good, so I'm expecting great things from it. Uh, there is another digital code in here. Um, you know what? I'm going to give this one away. So you want it Sideways, take it. I don't even care. It's on Movies Anywhere. Three, two, one. Take the code. Take it. Take it, 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 take it. It's gone. It's gone. If you didn't get it, sorry to say. Um, I don't know if it's good or not. So if you want it, you can take it. I don't really know. And the last one for the ones I got last night is Juno. Really like this movie a lot. Like I said, another four ninety nine one. Ellen Page, Michael Cera, Jennifer Gardner, Jason Bateman, Allison Janney, J.K. Simmons, all star cast. And I thought this movie was very funny, very uplifting, very inspirational. Um, very heartwarming. I like it a lot actually. It's it's a lot of fun uh, Really dramatic too. Ellen Page is one of her best performances I uh, really enjoyed this movie a lot and last for the Best Buy pickups was something I picked up a few weeks back And because I just recently watched all of these in like a row and for the first time and I love them uh, This is the Back to the Future trilogy 35th anniversary or 30th anniversary trilogy um, These movies are so good and I can't believe I haven't seen these um, yet until just now, like, you know, in 2019. Um, if you haven't seen these movies, which I'm sure you have if you're a movie buff, but if you haven't seen them, I recommend it. This is the awesome 30th anniversary edition. Um, it's a digibook kind of thing going on here. Lots of good bonus features on them. Uh, all, the, all of them have great transfers on Blu-ray. Um, there's the first disc. and just kind of goes like this. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the third one's the weakest one, but it's really not that bad, in my opinion. This is the bonus disc. Um, there goes that. And I used all the digital codes, so you can't have any digital codes for Back to the Future. Because I like these movies, and I'll have to be watching them um, uh, until I die, probably. But uh, yeah, that was for my Best Buy pickups, so let's move on to the next category. All right, next I have two from uh, Disc Replay I bought a couple, uh, couple weeks back. Um, these are great movies. First one up I have is Jumanji. This is the uh, some anniversary edition or something. It's a brand new Blu-ray version of it. Um, Thoroughly enjoyed this movie. A lot of fun this one was. Uh, very good classic Robin Williams, rest in peace, you know, action adventure comedy type movie. Um, lots of fun. Uh, I haven't actually checked out the transfer on this yet, but I assume it's good. It's Sony. Sony usually does pretty good with their transfers of older movies, but um, uh, I suppose I just gave that. Did I just. Did I, I don't remember if I uh, ch uh, yo yo used that um, the code yet, but. Um, or actually, I don't even know if it works, to be honest, but, uh, great addition to my collection. And then the other one I have is Passengers, um, underrated film from 2016, 17, uh, one of those years. Uh, really good movie. Not amazing, just really, I thought it was great. These two have great chemistry together. Um, in the movie, not in real life. Like, their interviews suck, but, like, in the movie, they're really good together. Um... This is the movie that kind of, uh, you know, pin on uh, Jennifer Lawrence for ruining Chris Pratt's uh, mar marriage to uh, Anna Faris. I call her a home record because of this movie, but the movie's good, but I don't know. But great movie, nonetheless. This is actually from Family Video, but it, it acquired from uh, Disc Replay. But that was my 
uh, small discrete play pickups, and then I have one family video pickup that I picked up a couple, I think at least at least like a few weeks ago. Um, we, me and my cousin were running movies, and I saw this for I think like four ninety nine or five ninety nine. I was like, hell yeah! And that's uh, uh, what's it called? Bad Times of the Hell Royale. Um, stellar cast, lots of great twists and turns, great mystery, a lot of style to it. Takes a lot of um, 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 inspiration from Tarantino movies. Uh, I, I like that, like that the guy actually took him. This is from the same director as, where to go, Cabin in the Woods back there. Um, another great movie. It's from the same director of that, but just a, just a Blu-ray. But this is a really great movie. It's a little long. They could have definitely shortened it a little bit. But like I said, great great cast, great story, great mystery. It does get kind of stupid towards the end, but I thoroughly enjoyed this one as well. And then last we have um, the ones I recently just picked up today from one of my friends who was selling them. Uh, he has like a ton in his house. He's like, I'm selling Blu-rays, man. You want some? I'm like, hell yeah, I'll take up that offer. It's Blu-rays, and they're three bucks a pop. You can't beat it. So I'm gonna go over the, some of the Blu-rays here. I got eight Blu-rays here. Well, one of them we'll go over. I'll tell you what the whole story of that one was. But um, we'll go over them real quick. Um, the first one I got is the uh, Austin Powers trilogy. So happy to own this. I love all of these movies. Um, even even Goldmember. I still like Goldmember. But um, love 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 these movies. They're such cult com uh, comedies in my opinion. Um, yeah, they all three of them right there. They all have different cases. I thought that was really cool. Um, awesome. So happy to own this one. Uh, I like those movies a lot. And we have Chronicle, another fantastic movie. Um, pretty underrated in my opinion. People don't like to talk about this. I don't know why. I think it's because Josh Trank is one of them. I, I, either, I think it was Max Landis that wrote the screenplay or directed um, Fantastic Four with a remake thing. Whatever the hell that was. It was terrible. But this is such a underrated film. There's a lot of different cliches in there when you rewatch it, but honestly, I couldn't be happier. I love this movie. I'm glad I own it. And then we have uh, something that uh, requires a story. Well, not a story story, but like, um, I didn't know this was this when I was buying it. When I looked at the picture, um, it, was from the, it was from the spine, and I couldn't tell if it was a Blu-ray or not. And he showed it to me. I'm like, I don't know if this is going to work or not, and lo and behold, it doesn't, so I'll be returning this very soon. But it is The Big Lebowski on HD DVD, a format that went out before Blu-ray came about. This is the thing that was before Blu-ray, and Blu-ray just passed this, like, by miles. But this was um, a thing back then. And guess what? You can't play this on the PS4. It only allowed, you're only allowed to play it on HD DVD players, which are not even probably being sold anymore. But I um, was really looking forward to watching this, because I haven't actually seen The Big Lebowski, and I was looking forward to watching this on Blu-ray. But I can't watch it anyways because it's HD DVD. But it's a cool little relic to have. I guess I'll, I'll keep it. Maybe you know why not? It's a little. It's a good little um, memento type thing. You know, it's HD DVD. Not many of these are um, you know available nowadays since a Blu-ray, of course. But it's pretty cool to have. Uh, maybe I'll keep it. We'll see. Next we have The Town, directed by um, Ben Affleck and starring Ben Affleck. I heard nothing but great things about this movie. And I cannot wait to see it. It includes an extended cut, which is a lot longer than the original cut. Holy shit. But, um, this looks like a really good movie. I, it looks like a good heist movie. I like I like heist movies. When they're done right, they're good. But when they're done bad, like, you know, heist and uh, tower heist. Well, tower heist is okay, but it's not, like, amazing. Heat is a great... Uh, Heat is a great heist movie, but there's the inside right there. Very cool. Very cool. Um... Uh, I'm lo looking forward to checking this one out. It's got Ben Affleck, Rebecca Hall, John Hamm, Jeremy Renner, and Blake Lively. All-star cast. Uh, it should be good. Another one I'm pretty excited to own is um, Iron Man. This is the original slip. It came out a long time when it first came out on Blu-ray. Um, came out in this awesome slip cover. And this is the ultimate two-disc edition, which is hard to find these days. So, um, well, I say hard to find. It probably isn't that hard to find. I'm just not hard looking hard enough. But... Um, for three bucks for this thing in such a good condition, I couldn't I couldn't pass it. Um, it's got two discs. Disc two is of course the um, uh, the bonus features. Uh, this is my third or this is my fourth. Wait, I have Avengers, Spider-Man: Homecoming, Avengers: Infinity War. I think that's it. Yeah. So this is my fourth MCU film to own. Um, I need to I need to pick up on the MCU films, but they're so damn expensive. It's hard to even like want to get into collecting those, but. Very cool addition, and has, I like this case, it has like Tony Stark on the front and Iron Man on the back. Um, one of the best MCU films, in my opinion, of course. So there's the disc one and disc two. 
this too is the bonus features of course but um, looking forward to check this one out again on blu-ray um, great movie great cast all that awesome and we have another one I haven't seen yet and I heard nothing but great things about and it stars Maki Mak it's uh, The Fighter with Maki Mak Christian Bale and Amy Adams um, I think this one, yes, was like nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture. So it's uh, one of those uh, good ones. It's a it's a boxing movie. I love boxing movies. Um, you know, Rocky, of course, and Creed, and all that. Great movies those are. But, um, this looks like a really good movie. And Christian Bale, I think, lost a lot of weight. I'm pretty sure for this role. Like he loses a weight for a lot of roles. I mean, he gained weight for, of course, Vice, but he likes to lose weight too. I don't know how that guy does it, but. Uh, looks a great movie. Definitely be checking this one out soon. Second to last, we got End of Watch um, with Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena. I've heard great. I've actually heard some pretty good things about this too. It's a pretty underrated cop movie. I heard um, from the writer of Training Day, which I haven't seen, but uh, powerful, great. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. This one looks really good. It's, a, it's got a ball, Jake Gyllenhaal, and I'm a huge fan of Jake Gyllenhaal. He's, he's one of the most underrated actors ever. I love him. And then, of course, we have the inside. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give you this one. I don't know if it'll work or not, but you can try it out anyway. This is the digital code for End of Watch. There it is. Don't know if it's in focus or not, but there it is. Um, I don't know if it works or not. I don't know if he used it or if the, my, my friend used it or anything, but they, he said he didn't really touch. He hasn't really touched them since, like, a while back, so they've been pretty much sit, clucking, uh, sitting around clicking dust. So I had, to, you know, I had to take it off his hands. And last but not least, we have uh, Black Swan. In my opinion, one of the scariest non-horror films ever made. Um, Natalie Portman is just completely transforms herself in this role. It's very dark. It's weird. It has some very disturbing moments. Um, it's very well acted and shot. And I think it's directed by uh, Darren Aronofsky, who of course made Mother. And um, what's the other one? Requiem for a Dream, which I have not seen yet. I need to, I need to get around to seeing that one. But uh, this is such a great movie. Glad to own it on Blu-ray. This awesome slipcover as well. And of course there's the Blu-ray right there. And it's just a digital copy disc, like back when they had to do discs, but... I think that is it. Uh, whew, a lot of Blu-ray to get through. Um, I haven't really been making uh, videos talking about Blu-rays lately. Because, um, well, as you can see right there, got a new shelving unit. Shelving, <laughs> shelving unit. Um, looks pretty nice. I'll do a video soon talking about all that. But I'm um, just get the thumbnail real quick. Alright guys, that's going to about do it. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy, always remember to leave a like and subscribe to see similar content like this. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you enjoy about the video, what you didn't enjoy about the video. Let me know if you have uh, owned any of these on Blu-ray yourselves. Um, don't forget to follow me on my socials, my Instagram, and my Stardust. The links will be down below in the description box. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a great time, a great day, whatever. Uh, peace out. Bye guys.